Breaking at 11, more lanes of traffic set to reopen after an interstate inferno. A semi carrying beer catching fire after a nasty crash right in the thick of rush hour. The fiery wreck causing a frustrating eight hour shutdown on I-285. And then take a look at these live pictures of what the scene looks like tonight. You can see lots of flashing lights still out there. We're gonna show these images right now. No cars are getting by, by the way on the westbound side. But this is what it looks like right now, and you can see traffic moving pretty well on the other side, but on the west side, nothing. Let's take a look at what it looked like earlier today at the top of the perimeter, right off the DeKalb Fulton County line. CBS 46's Patrick Quinn is live there tonight. The big question tonight, Patrick, what's it gonna look like for tomorrow morning's commute? Well, even before the morning, we just got some good news from the Georgia Department of Transportation. They plan on opening two lanes westbound by midnight. So within the hour, these lanes are going to be non-impacted lanes from today's fire. The remaining lanes, they have to repave due to fire damage. They hope to open those by 7 tomorrow morning. Crews into the night tending to the Ashford Dunwoody Bridge in North Atlanta. Repairs and restoration after a tractor trailer caught fire in a crash involving three other cars. We saw this car turned up along a barrier. Department of Transportation officials rushed to inspect the integrity of the bridge. Until the damage was known, 285 remained shut down in both directions for hours creating miles of backups along one of Atlanta's most traveled interstates. Can I just ask how long you've been in traffic? I saw three hours. Stuck for three hours. For Rachel Lindy, she sat in traffic for double that. It's just been a long six hours of waiting. Rachel and her dog, trying to get home from work, said cars alongside her kept running out of gas. The cars are stopped in the middle of the road everywhere. There's, you'll see a lot of people walking down the highway. Um, just trying to come get gas. In the meantime, <laughs> crews towed away the charred 18 wheeler. Eastbound traffic opened up by 7 o'clock. Westbound will remain shut down here in DeKalb County until the morning. Rachel's day of traffic woes is not over. I have to take 285 West to get home, so I would have to find a different route. I think a lot of people are going to feel like that. And back here live at this point, officials do not believe there are any issues challenging the structural integrity of the bridge itself. Certainly some good news there. They hoping to open up the bridge as soon as they can, but they tell me right now the focus is I-285 again within the hour. By midnight, they could open two lanes westbound. The remaining lane set to open tomorrow by 7 a.m. And we should talk about that crash. Four cars involved. Three people were taken to the hospital remarkably with minor injuries. Incredibly, somehow, not, no serious injuries from this crash that led to hours of backups. Live tonight alongside I-285 in DeKalb County, Patrick Quinn, CBS 46 News. Patrick, thank you. And if you're